as countries debate a guideline on Paris Agreement at the UN Climate Conference in Poland, African countries are asking for a balanced rule book. The rule book is expected to provide details on how to enforce the 2015 Paris Accord by limiting global warming to between 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius. Least developed countries and urging developed nations to increase ambition on finance during the talks. Our correspondent Ayola Kasim, who is in Katowice, now reports. Good morning. Good morning, distinguished guests. It's the first day of the second week of the climate talks in Katowice. And the message by observers is for the COP presidency to get real in dealing with the climate crisis. He has set up a process for the rest of the next couple of days with a set of working groups. There is no working group on ambition. How can you be a COP president of all of the countries in the world after the IPCC report and not set up a group to figure out the signal that needs to be sent here from ambition? So we call on him to open up such a negotiating group and to get real about what's happening on climate change. Africa, with more than 54 member states, has the largest group that make up the UN Convention on Climate Change, but it is the most vulnerable. So its leaders are asking for a rule book that speaks to the realities on the continent. Pan African Parliament delegation affirm support for the African common position, which emphasize a need for agreement on mitigation, adaptation, finance, technology, capacity building, uh, support as cornerstone for a successful and balanced, uh, balanced outcome. Are you here? Peter Taffa heads the Climate Change Unit at the Ministry of Environment and is also the UNF C's focal point for Nigeria. To him, Africa and indeed Nigeria do not intend to leave Katowice without a tangible result. Collectively, uh, the Paris Agreement must be implemented. And means of implementation and the rule book is a must. So I'm very certain that we will get something out of it. Technical negotiators are now handing over to their country ministers who will now take over the discussions. Many here are hoping that the ministers will consider the needs of the people in the final document expected at the end of the week. From the United Nations Climate Conference in Poland, I'm Ayo Lakasim reporting for Channels Television News.